Hi, I'm Kinkas and I'm a synth DIY guy. This week I have another world premiere for you, also for America Synths. It's the Multimode VCF, a great sounding filter based on the AS3320IC, a modern redesign of the SAM3320 used in the Pro 1, the OBXA and other classics. This chip, currently produced in Riga, is actually an improvement on some of the technical aspects of the Curtis chip it's based on. This module is already my favorite filter, and not just because I got to build serial number one. The kit comes with all the needed components, resistors, diodes, fuses, ferrite beads, capacitors, ICs, spacer and headers, as well as two PCBs and a gorgeous black panel. There's no wiring necessary, all the panel components get soldered right onto the control PCB. This filter has gain compensation, so the volume doesn't drop when resonance goes up. It also has resonance CV input, an unusual but welcome feature, an attenuverter for the cutoff CV, and three individual outputs, low pass, band pass, and high pass. It's a 24 dB per octave filter, and it looks amazing. It's a simpler build than last week's Swamp. I had it running trouble-free in my rack only two hours after I began. Same as with the Swamp, I got this kit before there was a manual, but it was a very straightforward job with no surprises. The components come in two bags, one for each board, which is very convenient. I started with the main board, placing and soldering the resistors, then the IC sockets, then the capacitors. I held off on the male headers till later. Then on to the control board, also starting with the resistors as well as the diodes, minding the polarity on the diodes. Then the IC sockets, ferrite beads and capacitors. The capacitors are almost all bipolar on this module, so don't worry too much about polarity, except for the three power caps on the back of the control board. The line on the silk screen indicates the negative side of these caps. The larger bipolar caps that also go on the back of the control PCB are taller, so they should go flat against the board. I didn't know this, so I soldered mine straight up. They barely fit this way. It's definitely better to mount them flat. My fuses were the short round ones, so they fit on the component side just fine. But if you get the larger rectangular ones, make sure to solder them on the back side of the PCB, along with the power header and the female headers for mounting both boards together. Attach the spacer to hold both boards together firmly. Finally, snap on the jacks and pots, slip on the panel, tighten the nuts, and then solder everything up. Place the control knobs, and you're done. As always, make sure you check the power rails for shorts with your multimeter, double check the orientation of the ICs, and then plug it in. Now let's check it out in action. First the low pass output with a saw wave. Now a square wave. With a narrower pulse width. Higher resonance. Now let's hear it with a saw wave and a square an octave below. Wow, 
Now let's hear it in a sequence. A saw wave through the low pass output, the band pass output is going through the delay, a joystick controlling the filter cutoff, and the envelope time. And the button puts the envelope in self psycho mode. Now let's control the resonance with the joystick as well. This is it for today, I hope you liked the video. Please like, subscribe and support me on Patreon so I can keep doing this. See you next week. Stay noisy. Thanks bro.